What's up, everybody? It's time to lock down some We Cross, and today we've got the brand new English first time ever set of Interlude Diva. We Cross is a game that's been around for a long time, and it's been traditionally printed in only Japan. But now, for the first time ever, like I said, we finally have an English run, and it's starting with Interlude Diva. This set came out in Japan a, a little bit ago. We're a few sets past Interlude Diva from the Japan releases, but they brought it back for an English release. So I've got myself a few boxes. I'm very excited to open up and see what we can find in this thing. There's some really cool cards. Here it is. Here's the box. Looking fresh, looking clean. We got some yellows on here. We've got the back. We've got all the goodies. Let's see, does it go over anything? Here we go. There's our rare and stuff so we've got our piece rare there's six types of those we got to make sure we look for those craziness super rares the elrig cars the rares the commons and then we've got our parallel cards these are the ones that we're especially going to want to look out for here we've got the diva rares there's only eight types of those the secrets which there's some really dope secrets in here we've got the elrig rare parallels the rares the commons and then the st cards very 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 cool very exciting i don't know what the st stands for these might be the signed cards potentially signature cards uh, i believe there were a bunch of signatures in the set for the japan release i don't know how it's transitioned over and how they we can compare the sets between the japan release and the english i'm not sure if they cut anything or if they removed any signature cards or anything like that i'm not sure in fact i don't even really know how to price these because i'm not sure which site actually has the singles of the english set available the only one I know is TCG Republic, and they only have the Japan release. So I'm going to be loosely basing my prices off of those. Leave a comment below if you know a site that's actually selling singles of the English set, so I can get a better idea of the prices for our new upcoming English series, because I think they're going to keep doing these. I'm pretty sure the set is going to do really well for the English release. In addition, I also got these little starter decks. They look very neat and actually have some exclusive cards in them, I believe. Here they are. We've got the Ancient Surprise, and then we've got the Diva Debut deck. So we're going to open up those first and see what kind of cool cards are in here. Starting with the Diva Debut deck, let's open it up and see what's inside. I, okay, all right. The tape popped off pretty nicely, so that's fine. Just a simple deck. I think it comes with like very basic play sheet play mat for the whole thing i'm not gonna unravel this whole thing it's just one of those little kind of crappy plastic one not plastic cardboard paper whatever you want to call it they're not great you know just get a play mat and learn how the game's set up basically is what i'm gonna say to that oh man i need my knife got my knife let's go all right slice into this carefully here and let's pull it there is a pull tab oh there was a pull tab wow i completely missed that okay so let's see what is in here I don't know, like I said, I don't know if there's anything crazy in here. We got some really cool Lisa, Lisa level twos. There's level threes, Angie, very neat. I'm gonna just go through this quickly because we wanna get onto the box. We wanna get onto the really cool stuff. Uh, some cool, I like the artist that does these. These are really cool artwork sometimes. Uh, Kaza Maranika, I, I'm probably still gonna struggle with these names, honestly. Uh, let's see, is there anything good like at the end? Any like special interesting cards for the deck itself? Nonetheless, cool to have. It doesn't look like it, so we just got our very standard setup deck here, but very neat nonetheless. Next up, the Ancient Surprise deck. Let's pop into this one and see if there's anything interesting in here. I have a feeling this one's going to be more of my aesthetic, and there should be some pretty neat characters. So let's see. All right, we've got all now the open gates, the open gate, the open gate. Yes, all three of the variants. Very cool looking though. Uh, I've gotten her card before. This must be from a different set too. There's probably a few reprints from other sets. Uh, let's see here. Very cool, slow, full armed, very neat. Oh, that's a pretty card, very nice. Natural crystal, got four play set, nice play set of all those. No foils or anything. Again, yeah, kind of a little disappointing that they didn't splash in like a foil or something for just the extra little decks but you know it is what it is still cool all right we're done with the deck so let's get back into the box here pop our one single piece of tape that opens up the box for us here that's all they do on these is just one single piece of tape knocking the camera as i always do all right let's open it see what these packs are like here we got our little punch out cards frozen shadow lancer double crush can attack assassin Sine zone, whatever. Frozen. That's very cool. All right, very cool. It's gonna be nice to have some English 
words on here that I can actually understand and see what these cards actually do. Uh, I know a lot of the hardcore fans that have been playing over here in the U.S. already know how this game works, and kudos to you guys for, like, figuring all that out. I'm sure the translating and all that is a pain, but, you know, if you love the game, you love the game, you're gonna do it. All right, we cross interlude diva. Here's the packs. Let's get open in here. All right, first one. Let's see what we can find. I forget how many cards are in here. Probably, like... I want to say. So we got our code 2434. We got our Phantom Terra Beast, our Jade Evil. Ooh, Terra Beast again. All right, Alt Charge. That is an L card. We've got our code 234 again as our rare behind it. Oh my gosh, we already got a signed. Are you kidding me? Whoa. All right, so Era, code 2434 signed. That is actually insane that we just pulled a signed on the first pack. I don't know what this one goes for, but I can't believe we just pulled a sign. Oh, man, I know when I looked on TCG Republic, uh, the signed ones go for pretty decent amounts again. So this is going to be interesting trying to compare to what the English is actually going to bring price wise and how the rarities work. I don't know if the ratio is going to be different for this set for the English, but bang, straight off the rip, an awesome, awesome looking signed card. As we go through the box, I'm sure we'll learn just how rare that actually was. I wonder if we'll get any more if we're only allotted like one per box. It's pretty insane. All right, so we got Code Maze, Natural Crystal, Kawani, Center, Angie Level 1, Aquatic Beast, and then we've got an L card, and behind it I see the foiling. All right, so we just got a common foil for this one, just the Natural Crystal, one that we just pulled in this pack. So pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Next one, let's go, come on. I am excited, let's see this thing. Natural Crystal, Silvani, Slime Mage, we got Creation Tone, we got Neon Tetra, or was that Terra? Terra, I think. Yeah. Even, uh, let's see, Azur General. And that was our rare. And the, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is a rare, but it also is a signature card. Holy yeah. crap. So we just got two signature cards within three packs, but it is a rare. It doesn't have the ST. So let's compare. So if you see here, this one does have the rare symbol. This one has the ST symbol. I'm going to have to look up the differences on these. Maybe that doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe this just is another rarity and it doesn't mean signature. I kind of thought it did mean the signature, but it's probably wrong on that. Uh, as it turns out, we've got a rare with a sign. Uh, so pretty, pretty sweet. All right. Two of them. Okay. Maybe they're uh, not as crazy as I'm considering them to be. How many signs will we find? That is uh, pretty crazy. Cool to get a signature, a signature card because I've been looking for them in just the regular Japan sets. But uh, yeah, I think they're. it feels like they might be a little bit more rare in the Japanese sets, but we'll see. L card are rare right here. High armed, very cool looking. Another rare Azura Angel. And then bang, look at that. L card <laughs> foil assist lies level one very very nice i'm pretty sure that you're gonna be wanting more value on like level threes will probably be more valued i'm assuming because that's like their final form i guess you could say don't know how the game is played just fyi so if i'm making crap up as i go along that's why i don't know still all right that's not bad a nice l foil let's go come on we got uh melissa here code two four three four i'm gonna stop saying that code two three four like all the cards have that on the name so i can't really do that matsusukiya i'm just gonna have to go for the names guys uh gundo gundo <laughs> Adaris, crimson angel and you guys are just gonna have to forgive me later because as you can see i'm probably gonna be terrible with pronouncing it's kind of a trend on this channel uh center tokyo level one is our nice looking l card behind it Ooh, very nice very very nice this is a pi card or pl was it pl or pi very very cool though look at that hollow very the artwork is phenomenal too on this one really cool assault cerberus really sweet we're gonna have to see what that does but nice card yeah pi so peace rare there's only six types of those so i'm considering them to be a little bit more on the rarer side which is nice servant we got sister claire we got rindio Violeth, assist lies level one we've got hera the crimson evil pretty cool Azura Angel, and then, oh my gosh, look at that. So this is a common signed card. Now I do know from TCG Republic, there is a common that sign that does have a lot of value. Not sure if it's this one or not. I'm gonna have to go back and look, but a common sign. So that's three signed already, pretty nuts. Oh buddy, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. All right, let's see. Crimson General, very nice. Darkness Eater, code, yeah, that's just code. Dola, Dola, really nice artwork on that one. I like it. Yuzuki, Hera, and then we got Assist Tokyo Level 2, 
And then we've got, ooh, Shatter hey. is our L card. Very nice, really cool artwork on that one too. She's holding the microphone, she's going off, she's being her diva self. All right, next one, let's keep cruising. I feel like we're doing pretty good so far. Let's see what else we got. We got Slash, Avela, Natural Planet, Battle Beat, Code, yeah, 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 Kita Salvation, L card, our rare Meiji Warabeta, and then bang, look at that one. That is a, is that a secret? That is a secret Tokyo level two center. That is freaking awesome looking. So yeah, I believe that's secret, right? It's gotta be right. Yeah, really, really, really dope. All right, so we're probably only gonna get like one of those in this box. Unless this is just like a god box and we're just gonna go off with all these signature cards and maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get a second secret rare. I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. This one's really cool though. Very, very well done with the artwork as well. Really dope. Next, let's go see what else we can find in here. We got the Iwagawa Crimson General. Najord or Jord, I don't know. I don't know how you say that at all. Tree Froggy, frog boots on that one. Scandy, Jade Evil, Assist Lies level two. We got the Sloth Phantom. We've got Angie level two. And then we've got an awesome, super rare <laughs> Shub Shub over here. The Crimson Evil Queen. Wow, that one is really dope looking. Nice full art. Nice, super rare, well done foiling. I love it, that is sweet. Keep on cruising through. Let's go, come on, let's see, let's see. We got our sister Claire here again. We got the Koala Lala, the Caladian Phantom, a blue opener, let's see, Neela Natural Crystal, High Circus Code Maze. Oh, that is sweet artwork too, dang, that is really cool. That's Tokyo level two. Which one did we just get? So this is center and this is assist, but this is a level two Tokyo and this is level two Tokyo, but assist and center. Not sure what those mean for the game, but still very cool. Let's see what's behind it though. We've got a super rare Azathoth <laughs> Phantom Spirit Queen. They getting into some Lovecraft in here. We already got the Shub Shub and now we got Azathoth. Pretty sick. It is like broken mirrors all around or something. No, no, no. It's like, uh, it's just a, it's just the hollows messing me up. It looked like broken mirrors, but no, it's just a bunch of little weird creatures playing flutes around her. Cool looking artwork though. Really nice greens in that hollow. Here we go. Let's see. What do we got in this one? We're starting with the Jade Evil again. We got the Panda Da, the Furon. I think I was saying that right. I don't know. My voice is cracking because I'm still recovering after being sick for like a week. Cyrus. And then we've got Ur Freeze. Very nice artwork. And then behind it, we've got a rare foil Azura yeah. Angel Hypnos. Very cool. She's hugging her little pandy bear or her little teddy bear, I should say. Pretty nice, but not like the most crazy of foiling. Ooh, buddy. All right. Let's see what we got in this one. Koala Girl, Eagle Guama, Eagle Calypso Drya, Vela, Natural Planet, a Sloth, just girl dressed up as a Sloth, Gundo again, we got Level 1, and then we've got a Common Foil, so Jade Evil Buer, just a Common Foil, so I don't think this one will be anything too crazy. Well, we got a Common Foil again, and now we're due for another good signature card. Let's see if we can make it three for this set. I wonder if we can. Hi, Circus. We got Tokyo level two. That is the one that we actually got in the secret. So this is an L card normally. And then the secret is just the nice foil full art version. Pretty interesting. Behind it, we got Tawa, even an L card in the nice foil. Very dope looking. Like the, like the background with the pop of the character on this one. Really nicely done. Next up. We're ripping into it. We're getting it out. We got the battle beat going on here. Kawana Code, Maze, a Fumino, Rushin, Tawia, Sloth. I am very sorry for this pronunciation. Tawa Burst, and then behind it, that looks sick. Nogsothos, Code, Labyrinth, Super Rare. Dang, we were getting the trifecta of Lovecraft names here. Uh, don't know how it associates to Lovecraft at all with with this artwork, but you know, I'll take it. Sure, it's Yogg Sloth. It's uh, pretty sick. I mean, I, I'm not gonna complain about the artwork. It looks really nice, but that is funny. They'll just slap on the Lovecraft monster names on anything these days. Like every card game is taking those names now. I guess that's what happened when it goes into public use, right? But pretty sweet. We'll see what that one goes for. Super rare, not bad. I think I'm just gonna like use TCG Republic and the Japan sets that are selling singles based off that and then just like reduce everything by a few bucks here and there. That might be the best way to like price out the English. I don't really know, but I'm sure enough people discovered it to where prices have kind of even killed a little bit on these, but we'll see what we got here. Ooh, very nice. 
All right, so it's another piece card. Very cool. We got the box art here too, it looks like, yeah? Right, that's the box art, yeah, right there, bang. Very nice, Super Halesta Saber. Very, very cool looking. Man, the artwork on these piece cards is really good. Very well done. Five packs left, let's go. Let's get in to the fifth one here and see if we can end really strong. Man, all our good stuff seemed to be like up on top, which is crazy. We got Tawa Bubbles. We got the Bubbles girl. Oh, whoa, I just skipped right through that. And back to Hera, Crimson Evil as our rare foil. We've gotten her uh, already, I believe. So probably more of a common rare, I guess you could say. So probably nothing too crazy here. Next, into the fourth one, let's go. Najord Kawani. We got uh, Sarah over here, Melissa. Hodomararu, arm, high armed. She would be cool to get in a far. That would probably be a sick hollow. Hypnos, we got alt reminders as our L, and behind it, another signature. Oh my gosh, and this is an ST as well. Dang. Tokyo level zero signed card. That is crazy, man. That is so insane. I don't know how we're pulling this off, but they must be relatively common to get in these boxes, I guess. I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Get it in, get it in. Let's see, we got Creation, we got Mayo, Darkness Eater, Byleth, we got Meiji, we got Hera again. See, there's the regular Hera. There's our L card, Angie level three. Nice looking card. Give me that and a nice holographic. Behind it, we've got a super rare Amino Acid, Natural Bacteria Queen. Dang, pretty sick. They're, the greens with the holographic look excellent. Gotta say, that is really, really nice. Let's see, enter charge one next time you take damage from a sign this turn. Instead, you do not take that damage. Negate some damage, does a couple other things. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, just uh, two packs. Two packs is all we got left. So this one and one more. So let's end it strong here. Try not to spoil the end. Tree Froggy Girl again, Ratna. We've got Ryo Yuzuki is our rare. Anilin, a natural crystal and behind it, Bang, a super rare Ars Emil, code 2434. Very nice, really elegant looking artwork on this one. She got a broom, a shovel, or a wand? I can't tell, what does she got there? Or a mallet, oh, it's a mallet, it's a giant mallet. Wow, that's like cutting off half the screen because I was looking into my camera. Very cool though, very nice looking artwork. All right, the last pack, let's see what we can get in this one and uh, cross our fingers, maybe one more signed. Can we get four sign cards in one box? I have no idea, but we shall see. Let's see, Azura, Sylvana, Creation Tone. We got Bronze, Natural Crystal, Meiji, Warbetta, Neon Tetra, and then we got Irma, Shatter. Behind it, bang, we did, oh my gosh. So this is another common sign. We got yeah. Dola, code 2434, as a sign. And it's signed by uh, like the character's name which I thought the artist signed it, but I guess not, I don't know. Maybe there's differences between the signatures. There might be, maybe there's like textured signatures because these aren't actually textured. I know sometimes the signature cards can be textured, but this one is not. Still a really cool common, it is another signature. So I don't know what to make of that, but I'll take it. All right, let's go into some pulls of the day. So first up, we've got our nice looking piece cards. We've got this one right here, a very cool card. I do prefer this artwork though, the Assault Cerberus, very nice piece card. And then we start going into our nice signature cards. Now this is one of the common foils, another common foil. This one is awesome looking though. Uh, this one is our rare, our rare foil one. And then we go into the actual ST foil uh, signed cards. We got the Toko level zero. And then we got this one. The first for the first pack we opened was this one, which is crazy. So yeah, I, I'm still not sure what to make of those, but we got four in this box. Next, we're gonna go into some super rares, the Evil Queen Shub Shub herself. We're going into all the Lovecraft stuff here. Azathoth, the Phantom Spirit Queen, super rare. We got Yogg-Sothoth as our super rare. She looks awesome, that is a sick card. And then we got Amino Acid, super rare. This one's not Lovecraft, but I think it's gonna be a good card. And then behind it, of course, with the last one, we've got our secret rare, super awesome, Center Tokyo, level two. Really, really sweet. How do you guys think we did in this box? I think we did pretty well. Leave a comment down below, and if you wanna see me open up more of We Cross and the new set, I've actually got, as you can see, two more boxes here on either side of me, so I'm totally down to keep opening these suckers up. If we did good, if we hit a really good box, let me know, and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more We Cross unboxings and product openings. It's been super fun getting into this game and I came right at the right time when they started doing the English releases as well. So stay tuned for more. 
Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you did, you're a champion, appreciate you, and we will see you guys in the next video.